Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is my preamble to a Max Payne 3 no damage old school difficulty run. This is being played on the PC because the PC version loads instantly, looks far more beautiful and runs at a much better frame rate. It also enables me to use a mouse and keyboard which will give me the best opportunity to aim when it comes to defending myself. If I was to do this run on the console, it would be Max Payne hides behind a piece of geometry like a bitch for 40 minutes and nobody wants to see that. The next objective of course is it's going to be on old school difficulty. Why are you not doing it on hardcore Chris? Uh, the reason's pretty simple. I've already covered hardcore. Hardcore differences between hardcore and old school is damage. They remove certain mechanics, but fundamentally it's the damage that makes the big difference. I have no damaged most of the game on hardcore, and I've no damaged the entire game on old school. And I can tell you, as far as the enemy's accuracy and aggression, it seems to be very much the same. The enemy is random in its just violence and its aggression and all of the great moments of just trying to destroy you in the mouth. So there are times when you play on hardcore and it feels like it's way harder than old school. There are times when you play on old school and it feels like it's way harder than hardcore. Fundamentally, the only differences that I can see are the removal of mechanics and the damage. So I'm doing old school because a lot of people ask for it and I haven't done it yet so we'll, we'll see how it goes. The final addendum to that point is I felt like you got more bullet time on old school and to make this run as fun and as enjoyable to watch as I want it to be, it's just the better choice. Which leads me to the guiding principles of the run. So there are a couple of facets that I wanted to adhere to while I was doing this. The first of which was I did not want to fight from cover if I could avoid it. It will happen, there are moments where I bitch out and it's inevitable, but fundamentally I'm going to try to be as aggressive as I can, I'm going to try to fight from cover as little as possible, and the, the greatest guiding principle is that I want it to be high-flying, acrobatic, crazy, shoot-dodging insanity. I want to be diving left and right and everyone watching to wonder how the hell I got away with it. That's kind of the point. And then fundamentally, I want to have fun with it, and I want you guys to have fun with it. I want you to watch something that maybe you haven't seen before, or maybe you didn't think was possible. I want you to watch it and, and see some of the crazy stuff that happens and kind of go, wow, as if that happened. Uh, I want it to be that kind of experience, and hopefully I succeeded. You guys will be the judge of that. There isn't really anything else to talk about here in the preamble, other than, of course, these videos are quite short because I'm removing all the downtime, there's no cutscenes, it's just fight to fight to fight to fight to fight. And when it comes to editing the fights, the only times there will be any kind of transition, guys, will be when there is downtime or any kind of transition between them. Once a gunfight begins to a gunfight ending, there will generally be no edits. That's the way that it's been made to make it the most enjoyable to watch. So, hopefully you hype after this for the run to come. I know that this video is going to be going out late because I had to re-record the bloody thing. But thank you all for watching, thank you all for supporting, and uh, please enjoy as Max continues his path through the night. You take care now.